Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Paste Special to paste into Word and what happens when you insert rows and how to fix the error that will occur. So first of all, I have a little bit of data in Excel which I'm going to copy and paste it into a Word document. So highlight, copy, get myself into Word, Using Paste Special, go into the menu Paste Link, and I'll pick the top option. Click OK, press and enter, and then I'm going to pick the second option. Paste Special, Paste Link, so that's like a Word table if you like. Just make that a little bigger. So everything's OK, everything's linked, and if I go back into Excel, change some of this data, That gets picked up in both of these examples. Now, if I go back into Excel, undo that change. The problem you have is when you insert a, I just get rid of these marching ants. If I just insert a row, so insert a row, so it's come down a bit. When I go back into Word, I'm now losing the total column. It's inserted the row, so that's picked it up, but it's lost the total column. So, what you have to do, if I go back into Excel, undo that insertion when you copy this if I copy an extra line copy and then do the same process again paste special paste link just pick the top option this time okay so that's the same information as that now if I go back into Excel get rid of the marching ants insert a row insert come back into word you can see I've still got the total on this one but on the top one that total line has disappeared so by just copying an extra blank line no matter how many lines I insert in this data now so if I just do that again insert so that's quite a lot now back into word that's dropped that down but now I've just got a blank document at the top there so nothing's happening so this one is picking up all the changes whereas that one and this one as well is not so just copy an extra line now if I do the same thing into PowerPoint if I bring PowerPoint onto this screen and then just copy that I'll just undo this so it's back as it was and then copy this into PowerPoint again I'm doing an extra line right click copy so I'm clicking into PowerPoint and paste special is exactly the same paste link as an Excel object so there she blows I'll just make that that image a bit bigger so you can see that do the same thing if I now get rid of the marching ants press escape if insert a row come back into PowerPoint the same thing will happen likewise if I just paste it without this extra low at uh, row this the same problem will occur so I'll just do that so you can see it in PowerPoint so I'll just go and copy get rid of this undo that so I'll just copy without an extra row same thing would work with a column of course go back in there find wherever my cursor is I'll just delete that actually just paste it over it paste special paste link ok make it bigger go and insert a row and we'll lose the total row which I have done so it's a, a common fault Obviously, if you're not inserting rows or columns, it doesn't matter. You can just grab the data, paste link, and that's it. But if you think you're going to be inserting rows and columns, you need to cater for that by, by selecting an extra row at the bottom or an extra column to the right and copy that. And when you paste that in, it will then make the whole thing dynamic. So hopefully that was of use to you, that little tip. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.